So sorry, let me quickly go back a little bit so that we'll be able to have information for one of our colleagues that is not here. So what we are trying to do is that we want to produce something of this nature. We want to produce something of this nature using Flash. And so if you look at Flash, anybody can use Flash irrespective of who you are. You don't need to be an art artist before you can make use of a Flash. You don't need to be an artist to use Flash. If you can be able to mix some, uh, some uh, shape and things together, then you'll be able to make use of, of a Flash. So this morning, we want to see how we can come up with this objects. We call it B. How do we come about it? And what are the things we need to do and to make sure that we are able to come up with this? So the step to step to follow has been given in this uh in this lab. The step to step to follow has been given in this lab. So and we are expected to come up with something better than this, even if it is not close to this, it should be better. If it is close, if it is uh, if it's close to this, but we should be able to produce something better than this. But nevertheless, if you can't produce something better than this, we should be able to have something close to this. So that's the reason we are going to follow the step one after the other to get it done. So the first thing we need to do is to drop um, over shape, do over shape on our uh, what space? Now, what space? I will call it stage. On our stage, we need to get two over shapes, something of this nature. So, what we need to do, or what we have done earlier, is that we have been able to do that. We we'll click on the over shape to drop the bigger shape, and then you click on the uh, over shape again to drop the smaller shape. But make sure that the smaller shape is slipping over the bigger shape. The smaller uh, shape is slipping over the bigger shape so that we can be able to form the body of the bee. So the head and then the other body of the bee. So being joined together, so we'll be able to do that. And so if you have this, we will not, we would like to do something so that we'll not be able to tamper with the shape we've created before. So what we now need to do is to convert this shape, uh, this shape to symbol, so that it will be able to appear on our profile. Then we can make use of it later in the day. We can modify it to suit our purpose. So what we need to do is just to highlight it. How do we highlight? We click on this uh, tools, highlight uh, selection tools, and then. You come over it like this is because we've converted this into symbol. That's the reason why it's not highlighted. So when you cover it to be highlighted, and then okay, let me go to scene. Let me go to scene. Then you just highlight like this. Though we will not be able to do that because we have already converted this thing to symbol. So when you highlight like this, then the next thing you need to do is to click on modify. When you click on modify, then you click convert to symbol. When you click on convert to symbol, you, you have something like this. You have something like this then. In the name, you type B, and then the type, we have so many types, but we're going to click on movie clips. We have button, we have graphics, but for the purpose of this work that we are doing this morning, we're going to click on movie clips. We're going to click on movie clips, and then when you are done with that, you click on OK. So when you click on OK, you have your being, the B body being converted to, uh, what do you call it? Or the B being converted to a symbol. Immediately, if you go to the library, you can see it there. When you go to the library, you can see it there. And so, what do we need to, to now do now so that we'll be able to get our work? done properly. So the next thing we need to do is to get into the B time uh, frame. We need to go into B frame because here we cannot edit anything any longer because 
there is a green, if you look at it very well, there is a blue rectangle there showing that it has been locked. It has been converted to symbol and you cannot do any editing on it. So if you want to carry out an editing, work on it. So what you all need to do is to double click. When you double click on it, it will take you to B. You can see B here. So with the B, B has its own frame. It has its own time frame. And from there, you can now arrange your work the way you want it to look like. You cannot arrange your work the way you want it to look like. So now you create many layers because the four is only one layer that is there. So you create more layers. So you create face layer, you create right wing layer, you create a left wing layer, and then also you create legs. You create legs. So what you so need to- How many layers do we, sorry, sir. Uh, we have like- How we, many, we, how many layers do we have now? We, we created additional for making five. Okay, face, B, body, yeah. right wing, left wing. And then legs. Legs, okay. So what we do is that we'll lock each and every one of them. We only unlock the layer we want to use. We unlock the layer we want to, because if you don't unlock, if you, if you don't lock all the layers, you may have issue because you may touch your drawing and your drawing may be affected. So when you lock it, you'll not be able, nothing will happen to what you have done there because you've already locked it. So anything you do will not have any effect on the layer. So we we'll lock all the layer except the leg layers because we want to work on the leg layer. So we want to work on the leg layer. So what we need to do now is to select the frame is let the frame to enable you to now work on the leg to enable you to work on the leg so so we are doing something like this now so now we want to now draw the leg we want to have something of this nature we want to have something of this nature so how do we go about it we make use of the pencil tools we make use of the pencil tools we are going to make use of the pencil tools so Now we know well, this is where we are going to get the pencil tools. This is where we are going to get the pencil tools, and then we can use it to draw what we want to draw. Sorry. So you select the frame first, or you select the frame first, and then you click on your pencil tools to do justice. So we want something like this. want something like this just to create legs just to create legs so so I want to create the legs so how do we do it we we'll pick a pencil to, and then we send the pencil to smooth, and then you zoom in closer to you so that you can draw the leg properly. Be sure that the parts are closer, are close, or you have problem filling them in later. Then you fill it. You fill in with the paint pockets. Fill it with the paint pocket. So. That's the next thing we need to do. That's the next thing we need to do. So, but now I need to do. Let me stop. So the next thing we need to do is to just uh, draw the leg. Let me see. 